Zain from Bangladesh went to prostrate for forgetfulness. And this is a frequently asked question. To know the rules of prostration of forgetfulness, you need to learn what are the pillars of Salat, what are the mandatory acts and words to be said in Salat, and what are the voluntary acts. Because if you make a mistake in voluntary acts or deliberately abandon them, your prayer is still valid and there is no need for sujood al-sahu. So if every time I don't raise my hands, or if I raise my hands every single movement, even when going to sujood, when rising from the sujood, this is a voluntary act. It does not require sujood al-sahu. Pillars you have to identify so that when you miss one by mistake, your prayer is invalid. Even if you missed it, out of forgetfulness, it's invalid unless you retract that and attain it and of offer it in the prayer itself before it concludes. But if I went home and I, and I dope slapped my, my head and said, oops, Maghrib, I prayed three rak'ahs with only five sujood. I missed one sajda. Khalas, it's over. The prayer is invalid. I have to repeat it. But if I remember that I missed one sujood while in prayer, that rak'ah is void, and what comes after it takes its place, and I have to uh, 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 offer a new rak'ah, in addition for that missed and invalid one. So it's a long process. I don't think we have the time to explain it, but if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll find it explained. If you go to my playlist in the YouTube channel, in the Islamic Fiqh uh, uh, series, or in Umdat al-Ahkam, series, you will find in details what are the mandatory acts, what are the pillars, and what are the voluntary, and then you can figure it out. But to sum it all up, if you make a mistake in your rukur, and this is your question, if I'm not mistaken, so instead of saying, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, you said, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, Sami'a Allahu liman hamida. And then you dope slapped yourself, said, what? I said the wrong dhikr. What to do? You cannot rectify it because you're already standing now. So the wrong dhikr was said in the wrong place, which means that you have to prostrate two prostrations of sahu before the salam. If you were in the ruku' and said, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, and then remember that, no, this is ruku' and immediately you said, Subhana Rabbi al-Azim, Subhana Rabbi al-Azim, there's nothing to do. No sujood sahu required because you rectified it on the spot and you've added Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, uh, which is a voluntary dhikr, there's no problem in that. So I hope this answers your question. Irfan from